Mm, petit filet, wagyu rump, grain fed, Angus sirloin on the bone. The art of choosing a really good steak is just as important as choosing a good drop of red. White wine and steak? Medium rarely. So Keith, I'm sat in Stearson's and I'm spoiled for choice by the amount of steak you have on the menu. Talk me through so I can make my decision. Well, we do have a lot of different choices, Stearson's. Mm. Uh, here we have a fillet, grass-fed, very, very lean. Uh, so it's great if you're conscious about the fat content. Uh, here we've got a strip loin, it's grain-fed, there's a little bit more fat content there. Uh, much more buttery flavor but again, reasonably lean. And then if you get something like a cube roll, like this is a Wagyu cube roll, you can tell it's What does Wagyu mean? Wagyu means uh, cattle from Japan, technically. Uh, so they're fed on a lot more grain. This is a 300 day grain fed. Mm -hmm. uh, but a lot of this fat you see here renders off while it's cooking and it kind of bastes itself while it's cooking. And this one here is my favorite. It's a ribeye on the bone, dry aged. A lot of flavor there. There's a good fat content. Uh, so it's uh, beautiful. Okay, so let's get grilling. Okay. Okay, so first we want to season the steak, which is very, very important. Salt and pepper on both sides. And this brings the flavor out. Next, onto the cod grill. Now one thing when I have a barbecue is I'm always overcooking the steak. How, how can I test the timing on each steak? Well, it depends on how thick the steak is, of course. Uh, and also it depends on the fat content on the steak. So you'll find Wagyu steaks cook a lot faster than something that's a little bit leaner because the fat's in there cooking it. Uh, so this one here, we'll probably mark it up. It'll take us about uh, three minutes and then I'm gonna pop it into the oven for about another four minutes. And then I'm gonna pull it out, I'm gonna rest it for a good four minutes again. After that, just straight onto the barbie again, just to heat it up very quickly. I mentioned earlier that King Street Wharf is named after King George and I am graced by the presence of yet another George, King of the Prime Cut, I may add. This looks great. It is, it is Scott, thank you. But don't forget Scott, we also have Morton Bay Bugs, beautiful roast duck, soft-shelled crab. George, I came here for the steak.